and it's really been a morning full of exploring hidden gems over in Cincinnati. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. It's just one of the cities, the five cities Chuck's visited as part of the lovely adventure, seeking out amazing places for couples this Valentine's, Chuck. Well, we've had a good time so far, and now I want to show you one of the most incredible and unexpected hidden gems, gems of our whole okay. trip. On a nondescript street yeah. with just a handful of houses sits 1373, a narrow three-story that is so much more than meets the eye. Well, hey, here we are. From what I understand, one of the most unique bed and breakfasts in the world, the Swing House here in Cincinnati, and I cannot wait to see it. Hey, Chuck. How are you? Good Welcome. to see you, man. And wow, this is <laughs> this is as advertised. What a beautiful place you have. Yeah, thanks. This is a three-story home. Three -story that's now home. one story plus a basement. I often tell people it's a eleven room house. That's just a one room house <laughs> now. So so it's an idea that I had about 30 years ago. And spending a lot of time downtown in buildings that were abandoned. I just love that history, so I wanted to open one up and have a swing so you can just experience the life of the house. And so. the swing itself is really as much something to do to swing inside a house, but it's right. a symbol as well, sure. right? It's about slowing down, kind of uh, a timepiece, a uh, reflection. It sounds, of course, fun, the swing house. Um, it is fun, but it's also something about being very contemplative about your life. And you come downstairs, and Mark, the surprises are not over because voila, a beautiful art gallery that you have here. You know, one thing that was really important for me was to actually reclaim a lot of the material inside the house. I saved a lot, a lot of material and made a, a lot of artwork, and this is just a small part of it. The doggone furniture is floating, Mark. Yeah, tell, me is about, tell me about that. Everything's based on the swing. So the swing isn't attached to the floor. It's attached to the steel beam above. The furniture and the artwork itself all reference floating. And when you enter this place, I want it to be an ethereal experience. You're entering kind of another world. There is no question that is an ethereal experience, <laughs> and it's also an experience really designed for couples. Uh, once you go in there, the time flies just because you're looking at everything yeah. in there. The most bizarre thing, bizarre is not the word, the most unusual <laughs> thing was that bolted furniture. If you lie on the bed and you look off to the right, you think you're floating in air. And those sounds, uh, those spa-like sounds, yeah. continue through wow. the whole house. It's, yeah. it's wonderful. Yeah, he wants it to be con contemplative, and it right. certainly is. I'm like transfixed like he's trying to hypnotize me or right. something. Hey, you look at me. <laughs> I'm a guy that cuts out the coupons for hotels. That's, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> this is a place I'd go to in yeah, a heartbeat. It it's really wonderful. Cool. So it's a bed and breakfast. So you yes, can and it's in the Camp Washington neighborhood. Okay. In fact, Mark's next creation is right next door, and it actually repurposes the steps from inside the swing house. When it's done, it will be aptly named the, the Stair, Stair House. house. <laughs> uh, the swing house, by the way, is available for rent on Airbnb, and we've got details on that along with all of my other stories online at WTHR dot com slash lovely adventure. Thank you, Steve Rhodes, for an incredible piece that you put together. And tomorrow we're headed to Louisville. And I hope you're hungry yes. because we're <laughs> going to go in the kitchen to learn all about the original hot brown sandwich. Yes. And I get to taste uh, test out my favorite Cubs players game band at the Louisville Slugger Museum. Then we go underground again for a high flying good time. I hope you'll join us. It's Chuck's lovely adventure right here on Sunrise right. tomorrow. And I hear people from Kentucky are great. I they do are. hear that about <laughs> Absolutely. all kind of Kentucky guys. Hey,